Sorry, guys, I was on mute. Will you send me a link? Let's G meet in two minutes. Common lines nowadays, aren't they? Well, guys, Google Meet is what's empowering startups, small businesses, group projects, and well, in some cases, long distance relationships as well. So today I'm going to bring to you some top tips and tricks that you need to know to make the most of Google Meet. Let's start. Change the speaker layout. The layout of the speaker largely focuses on the most important speaker. This can be used to highlight a single speaker or create a tiled up view or the view that you would like to see the panel as in the given features. This is very useful for large panel meetings and for small panel meetings as well. Wondering how to do it? Super simple. Once you have connected to the meeting, this is what you need to do. Go to the right bottom of the screen and click on the three dots just close to the end call symbol. Galti se don't click on the end call symbol, then it's Bhagwan Bharose. As the menu pops up, click on the second option which says change layout. Now you'll get to see different options for your layouts. Once you have selected the layout that you want, depending on the layout, you can now use the slider to adjust your speaker tile size. Enable live captions. Live caption transcribes speech in real time. This feature is very useful. Say you are in a cafe or a restaurant or in a very crowded area. This feature is even better than you might think because it exactly functions like any other caption oriented site. How to do it? This is how. Go to the bottom of the ongoing meeting and click on the third symbol that says CC. Now it will catch on to the speech detected and the caption will be displayed on your screen. Cast your meeting to another display. This feature works like any other cast feature. You can cast the ongoing meeting with the help of Chromecast or Google Nest display to any other device without leaving the call or rejoining the meeting. This is how you do it. Click on the three dots at the bottom right of your screen. The menu will pop up. Click on the very first feature that says cast this meeting. Once you click on that, there will be a pop up at the top right of your screen. Now, click on the devices you would like to cast the meeting on. Customize your background. Now, this is a super fun feature. When it comes to attending meetings, you'll have to look presentable at all times. This feature provides you with different background options for the same. From it being a fun casual meet to a professional meet, Google Meet has it all. From funky backgrounds to portraits to having blurry backgrounds as well. More or less, there are multiple options that you can choose from. So, try it out and look for the ones that you like the best. This is how you do it. Click on the three dots at the bottom right of your screen. The menu will pop up. Click on the feature that says visual effects. And guys, everybody loves visual effects. I mean, just look at the collection of Avatar 2. Anyway, once you click on that, you will be given multiple options that you can choose from. If you want to remove the background effect, you can also click on the cancel symbol. That easy. Tweak host management settings. Google Meet has a default feature of host management and it works as a default for smaller calls. This feature also helps you to control all the actions that your participant can take. This is usually better for large meets with more than five participants in the meeting. How to do it? This is how. Click on the right corner bottom. You'll see the option of host control. There will be a pop-up. Now toggle on the host management switch. Now you can select the given options on how you want to have control over the participants. And that was the video guys. Whether you're a student attending virtual classes, an employee working remotely or a business owner conducting meetings with clients, these strategies will help you create a seamless and engaging experience for all participants thanks to Google Meet. Tell us which feature did you enjoy the most? Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such content.